Hello everybody. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Uh, today my topic is the dangers of lying. Spreading false rumors or spreading false accusations about people. The dangers of lying. And I've taken my text from a variety of places in the biblical literature. Uh, the Bible says in Exodus chapter 20 verses 16, which forms a uh, part of the 10th commandment, and this is the ninth commandment. It says, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Let me just pause for a moment and let that sink. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. And in the book of Proverbs, we read, There are six things that God hates. No, seven. Haughtiness, lying, murdering, plotting evil, eagerness to do wrong, a false witness, sowing discord among the brothers. These are the things God hate. Lying allows people to feel better about themselves, to make themselves look better in the eyes of other people and to maintain a good relationship. At the same time, lying can create irreversible problems and increase the risk of people being punished wrongly. Lying can threaten people's self-worth and generally erode trust in families, in friendship, in churches, in government, in the public sector, in voluntary sector, in the private sector, in wherever people find themselves. Lying can threaten people's self-worth and erode trust in all these areas. What is a lie? Well, according to the Ten Commandments, a lie is bearing false witness about a matter or a situation or about your neighbor. There are three essential elements about lying. A lie will always communicate some information. Two, the liar will always intend to mislead or deceive people. And three, the liar knows what they are saying is not true, but they will say it or write it anyway. Uh, the sad thing about lying is that it destroys you with a vicious cycle. When you continue to lie and manipulate people, it's like putting a rock on your back and having to carry it around everywhere you go. Lying is a relationship destroyer that will end up destroying your own life. Lying is critically dangerous, especially when you know what you're writing about or what you're saying is not true. It destroys relationship, damages trust, and creates unhealthy atmosphere. There are many consequences of lying, but let's just examine a few from the Bible. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who speaks lies shall perish. So there are two things going on here. Punishment and death is the consequences of lying. For all that is in the secret would eventually be brought to the open. And everything that is concealed will be brought to the light and be made known for all to see. As you are busy writing letters, as you are busy spreading false rumors, as you are busy 
writing false accusations about people. Be warned and be assured that those secret letters and those false accusations will come to the open for all to see. Let's examine the story of Joseph, which is covered from Genesis chapter 37 through to Genesis chapter 50. It is a vivid representation of the great truth that all things work together for good to those who loved God and those who are called according to God's purpose. Not only was he sold into slavery by his own brothers, he was also accused wrongly by his master's wife, which led him to be imprisoned. But because the grace of God was upon Joseph, God vindicated Joseph. And within 24 hours, Joseph came out of the prison and became a prime minister of Egypt. So when you're lying about somebody, just be careful who you lie about and what you say about them because they could become your boss. They could become the president. They could become the prime minister. So be careful who you lie about or who you bear false witness about. Our final examination about the consequences of lying is taken from the book of Acts and it's about Ananias and his wife, Sapphira. Now, all the believers were together and had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods and divided them among anyone that had need. But Ananias and his wife, Sapphira, sold their plot of land and they hid part of the money. Instead of giving all the money to the apostles to be shared among everybody equally, they hid part of the money. And so Peter said to Ananias and his wife, Ananias, why has Satan failed your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and kept back part of the price of the land for yourself? Immediately Peter finished speaking. Ananias was struck by death. He died there and then. So my dear friends, there is a serious consequences about lying. Be careful who you lie against. Ananias and his wife stood before the apostle Peter and lied. And the Bible says, when Peter has finished talking to them, Ananias fell dead. He fell down and he died. Be careful when you are lying against a man of God. Be careful if you are lying against a vicar, a rector, an archdeacon, a bishop. Be careful if you are a Christian and you go about writing false letters. Writing letters of accusation of something that you know is not true. Be warned and be careful. Uh, let's move on to the blessings of telling the truth. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. Therefore, instead of lying, choose to tell the truth. Even if you don't like what is going on, even if the person you are looking at is different from you and you don't like what they are doing, choose to tell the truth because the Lord delights in those who are trustworthy. Each of you must put off all falsehood wrong accusation, rumors, 
lying lips and speak truthfully to your neighbor. For we are all members of one body, the body of Christ. Don't give the devil a chance by lying about other people, by spreading false rumors, by writing false accusation letters. Don't give the devil a chance to come into your life and mess your life up by accusing people wrongly. Because in the end, the devil will use you and he will kill you. The ninth commandment out of the ten says this. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. So anybody under the sound of my voice, if you have said anything, spread a rumor, said anything about somebody, written a letter accusing someone wrongfully, which you know is not true, you must go back and correct it. Because if you don't, it will backfire on your head. Especially if the person you have lied against knows how to pray. Because the eyes of the Lord God is upon the righteous and his ears are open to the cry of the righteous. A false witness will not go unpunished. And he who speak lies shall perish. If you have said anything about somebody that you know is not true, I want you to run as fast as your leg can carry you. Go and correct it. Because if this person knows how to pray, then you're finished. <laughs> then you're finished. The Bible says you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Why are you doing it? If you've done it, go back and correct it and ask for forgiveness so God can forgive you because you are not ready for the impending doom that is coming upon you. It's not too late. God can forgive you. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Love your neighbor as yourself and don't lie against anybody wrongfully. It is very dangerous. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this chance to learn about uh, the dangers of lying. And we thank you for all the scriptures that you have given us to remind us uh, not to lie, but to seek to do good and to love our neighbors as ourselves. And so we pray that you will help us to love everybody as we love ourselves, to seek to live in peace, harmony, and in unity with everybody. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear friends, well, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and share this message to your friends. Anybody that you think that might benefit from this message, share it to them. I shall see you soon. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>